Tucker Carlson is used by all sorts of far right extremists to essentially parrot this message that only leads to an incitement of violence. And the latest example is a radio show host named Pete Santelli who is insane. So let's take a look at how he uses Tucker Carlson to amplify a call for violence. Let's go to Tucker Carlson. Listen to how he breaks this down, okay? And how ridiculous things are. He's not gonna call for 100 million people to take up arms, okay, to defend our nation. I am, okay? I'm not afraid to. I mean, at what point do we take everything that Tucker goes over every single night and start recognizing that we need a leader to get a bunch of people organized to put down this rabid communist dog? He's very clear, Jenk. I mean, he doesn't in any way try to conceal that he wants violence, that he believes in inciting violence, that he believes in using violence to get what you want. Um, he, in the past, has said that he wants to shoot Hillary Clinton and Obama. He said, quote, Barack Obama needs to be tried, convicted, and shot for the crimes against the United States of America. And if anybody has a problem with that, then you are an enemy of our state. He also said, you need to understand that what I said was very clear. I didn't want Hillary Clinton to die. I want her to suffer painfully right in front of me after she's convicted for committing crimes against humanity. Now, the penalty for which I would volunteer to shoot her right in the VJJ, he said. I want her to remain alive. I don't even want the death penalty for that. Um, he also called uh, Sandy Hook a satanic sacrifice ritual. He's been arrested and he actually spent time in prison in the past. Uh, so he uh, engages with militia members. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on. He was arrested in 2016 and pleaded guilty to charges of conspiracy and he served a 14 month jail sentence as a result. But none of that stopped him. He's still out there uh, making all sorts of crazy conspiratorial claims while inciting violence, clearly and openly. Yeah, Anna, this is, uh, is a nightmare. And um, I keep doing the Titanic reference because people in the media think, "Oh, this is America, we can't sink. Uh, I was told this, that the Titanic is unsinkable. Uh, and so they see the polls where 40% of Republicans say that it might be time for violence. 40% of Republicans, that's tens of millions of people across the country. Uh, so Tucker Carlson uh, called for his audience to quote, rise up. And then Santilli says, quote, quote, we must stand and literally put our lives on the line for a free and fair election. Anybody who stands between us and a free and fair election shall perish. They're talking about killing us. Now, we don't stand in the way of free and fair elections. We believe in actually fixing those elections. You should go and join Wolfpack if you want to do it the right way. Left wing, right wing, it doesn't matter. They're fighting for free and fair elections. But these guys go, no, we'll kill people we interpret as being as free and fair elections. Well, what's your interpretation of free elections? Oh, Trump should be president no matter what. So that means you're gonna try to kill anyone who doesn't think Trump should be president no matter what. So. They're gonna start killing people. They're already, look, the guy shows up with a giant truck uh, van bomb or whatever he was in DC. They planted pipe bombs on January 6th, they raided the Capitol. We've shown you now dozens of cases of right wing extremists doing terrorism. Tucker Carlson did a segment that this Santilli guy loved going, where's the white right wing extremism? Nobody ever talks about it. Well, there are dozens of examples. You just don't talk about it on your show. Then you pretend it doesn't exist. But. Here they are egging it on very, very clearly. This is going to end in disaster. And I mean, he's just one of many. I mean, we've shown so many examples and it ends up being reflected in the way Republican voters respond to polls. So look, the first time one of these polls came out showing that a sizable portion of the Republican electorate believes that they need to resort to political violence to take the country back. I thought, all right, look, it's one poll. And sometimes, you know, in polls like this, people don't take it seriously and they like answer in ways that they don't actually feel. But no, it, 
that poll has been, uh, that result has been replicated in other polls. And you can understand why when you see so many elements of right wing media, even if it's like little rinky dink shows like this guy's, having an impact, like changing people's minds or at least persuading people to think that the country was taken from them, that the election was stolen from Trump, that everything is falling apart and crumbling because of the political opposition, that the political opposition is full of child molesters and they're the enemy of the state. I mean, all of these crazy conspiracy theories and talking points, all of these efforts to incite violence leads to right wing violence in the country. We've already seen it play out. And it's only gonna continue getting worse because it seems like they feel emboldened to keep doing this. It's incredible. Yeah, but Anna, there's a reason why, because nobody's stopping them. Right. So, I mean, this guy said that the, these very specific political leaders should be shot and killed. Look, authorities looked into it to be fair, right? And and there was a tiny hand slap here. But at some point they gotta, look, we're independent. And we are deeply against the establishment. We do not want the heavy hand of the government regulating speech and the press, right? But you can't go out there and say, kill that person. The government has to do something about that. Otherwise, they will kill that person. There's got to be some sort of law and order here and rule of law. And look, Tucker's smart enough that he doesn't say it like this moron and says, "Oh, go shoot them and the genitals or whatever, right? Tucker just generally talks about how you have to rise up and the government is tyrannical. And you remember what our founding fathers did and make sure you have your guns and second amendment. And oh my God, they're trying to destroy democracy by not making us win every time, no matter what the results are. You should be super angry about that and make sure you have your guns with you. But he didn't say go shoot X or Y. So he knows exactly how to incite violence and terrorism while not getting punished for it and not having any consequences. So he's gonna keep on doing it and keep on doing it. And and they're all basically encouraging cross burnings on our lawns as a way to intimidate us. And in this case, it's threats of violence and violence itself. And don't forget, there was the pipe bomb guy, right, under Trump. He sent it to the press, he sent it to the politicians, he sent it to anyone that dared to disagree with Trump. They're constantly doing it, and there's barely any consequences. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.